we feel gravity every single second. But what actually is it? Okay, let's get into it. So let's try a thought experiment. How would you explain gravity to someone who's never felt it? Well, at its core, it's pretty simple. Anything with mass pulls on everything else with mass. And this isn't just for big stuff like planets. Take two ordinary baseballs out in deep space. Yep, their own tiny gravity would pull them together. It would take three days, but they'd touch. And this just shows you distance really matters. The doctor who delivered you pulled on you more than Pisces. For a long, long time, we had one main explanation for this pull, all thanks to Isaac Newton. Newton's big idea, gravity is a force, kind of like an invisible string pulling things with mass together. And get this, it's a two-way street. When you drop a pen, you pull the entire Earth up. But Newton's elegant picture had a few problems. Some weird observations just didn't quite add up. For one, his mass said gravity's instant. But wait, nothing's faster than the speed of light, right? And then there was Mercury. Its orbit had this weird wobble that Newton's laws just could not explain. Then along comes Albert Einstein, who says, hold on, what if gravity isn't a force at all? He saw space and time as one single fabric, and heavy things like planets literally warp it. So Mercury isn't being pulled, it's just following that curve in space-time. Einstein's math nailed it. And here's where it gets really weird. This warping also affects time. It actually runs slower in stronger gravity. This is totally real, by the way. Your phone's GPS constantly has to correct for this time-bending effect. But even Einstein's mind-bending idea didn't solve everything. The story of gravity isn't finished yet. We still can't explain dark matter, this mystery stuff holding galaxies together, or find the so-called graviton. You see, all the other fundamental forces have known carrier particles, but for gravity, it's the odd one out. So to find the answers, we have to look where gravity gets, well, extreme. And that means looking at black holes. That's where space-time has been to the absolute breaking point. I mean, if you crush the whole Earth down, its black hole would be smaller than a marble. So, what is gravity in the end? A force? A curve? Or is it a clue to something deeper?